Hi, my name is Jana Leibert. I'm an associate professor at the University of Southern Denmark, and I'm also responsible for Beston's subcommittee on education and pedagogy. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this short introduction uh, to the Beston modules, where I'll take you through what they are and the content, and also invite you to become a contributor. During the past few years, uh, many institutions of higher education around the world have adopted um, uh, open educational resources, or OERs, to make available various repositories for learning. Uh, most of those are facilitated by Web 2.0 tools uh, and social media. And these technologies um, provide opportunities for users to collaborate, uh, share materials, and increase their knowledge uh, and understanding in a variety of contexts. The OER structure um, varies greatly, um, and it, there's a, a, a difference in how free these resources are. And I'm happy to let you know that the resources of Beston are freely available to all users. Simply click on the screen and uh, of the preferred module that you wish to see, and you'll be able to access that material. Now, um, in order to work with social media, uh, it is not just a matter of putting existing courses online, but um, it takes a careful pedagogical design in order to enable learners to work with and contribute and collaborate uh, when using Web 2.0 tools. So um, the link you see provided here, uh, highlighting the information booklet, is a, a tutorial for teachers, in particular educators, which is available from InnoTourist Teacher and Tutor Forum, which will give you a very hands-on um, guidance to how to integrate this in learning. We recommend highly that these modules become part of a blended learning pedagogy so that users are not only, or learners are not lost in cyberspace and on their own, but that uh, it, they are connected somehow either through formal educational enrollment or through different communities of practice. Also, there's a wonderful article, I should say, uh, by um, a colleague of mine, Ingemarie Christensen, and, and myself, uh, which you can find in the Journal of Hospitality, Leisure, Sport, and Tourism Education, which, which talks much more um, in detail about how to implement these resources. Now, reusing knowledge in multiple contexts uh, supports the idea of both lifelong but also life-wide learning. Julian Burton's drawing, um, which I'm very fond of, illustrates how we educate or need to educate and learn for uncertain and complex futures. Simply mastering a field of knowledge involves not only learning about the subject matter, but it is also based on learning to become and be an academic an academic contributor uh, or academic participant where, where you engage in norm-governed conversation, where you become an active contributor to society through, for instance, communicative action, um, and the capability of using and reusing a wide range of um, knowledge resources. The OERs, the online uh, educational resources, are massive open online courses uh, that have started developing more recently, they will enable learners to learn um, in all contexts, of course, mindful of the digital divide. But with internet access, it is possible to keep learning in and from life-wide dim dimensions. Now, to best modules, um, they are all related to the field of sustainable tourism development, which is uh, the topical area in which Bestin operates. Uh, when you look at the available modules, uh, you'll see that there are already a broad range of issues available, which is based on volunteer contribution by a number of colleagues around the world, um, most of whom are affiliated with Beston, but this is not a prerequisite, uh, I should quickly add. Some of the modules that are there um, speaking in August of 2013, uh, are, for instance, a conceptual clarification piece. It's an, a module on uh, island tourism and sustainability on different uh, variations of the theme of communities, whether it's participation or engagement, uh, power issues, and so on. Quality of life is covered in another module, as is volunteer tourism and the issue of luxury tourism. 
um, which I think I can disclose now, uh, is not necessarily an oxymoron when it comes to, to the sustainable development of tourism. So I invite you to browse through these modules, feel free to use and reuse, um, and also, last but not least, this comes with an invitation uh, for you to contribute. Uh, when you go to uh, the Best Education Network site for the modules on InnoTour, uh, there's a guide on how to uh, actually contribute, what you need to do in order to become part of this Best in Lecture series. Uh, I've listed some of the uh, key issues uh, on uh, the side of the screen, which would involve making a pre or preparing for uh, a module and also um, making available the materials uh, so that we can upload uh, the slides or the pressy if you choose to, to use any of those devices uh, as a separate entity to the, the module. Uh, we would also very much like you to share links to different case studies or to literature uh, that you may have come across of relevance to your presentation and certainly also to provide student assignments if uh, these are feasible. In this way, uh, teachers may also choose to enter into collaboration across universities and have uh, the students go through the similar module and create joint student assignments based on this. Last but not least, uh, in order to facilitate the upload, uh, I should encourage you to contact me as soon as, as you um, develop this interest. Uh, I've provided my email address below at library at SDUDK, and I will assist you with the recording and upload. So happy browsing again, and um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. <laughs>